Kano had always been a survivor, but even he would one day succumb to fate. His ideals of ruthless terror would die with him, unless he could pass on his methods to a new generation. Combat, weapons, high-tech sabotage, torture, all would be part of the curriculum. But before his students could learn his techniques, Kano would beat the weakness out of them. They would understand, or die trying. Kano's first pupil? His own son. Class was now in session. Johnny Cage's life had turned out to be stranger than any science fiction film, but he knew the final scene was approaching. With Raiden's direction, Johnny was able to sail to Shang Tsung's abandoned island fortress, where his adventure had begun to contemplate his future. Amid the rubble, Johnny found an ancient tome. Its pages revealed that Shang Tsung had unraveled the secret to Edenian long life. Johnny Cage's retirement would have to wait. Nearly 150 years ago, Aaron Black had been hired by Shang Tsung to assassinate an Earthrealm warrior. In return, Shang had slowed Black's aging process. He could therefore afford to be patient. If an employer wanted someone dead, they would be in time. A team of young Earthrealm warriors had caused Aaron Black's current employer, Kotal Khan, much inconvenience. With the patience of a viper, Black eliminated them all. With Shinnok defeated, Liu Kang explored the Nether Realm, a world that, without Shinnok's controlling power, had descended into chaos. Liu Kang was no sorcerer or elder god, but his fighting skill was more than enough to beat Nether Realm's demons into submission. Liu Kang realized that Nether Realm was his for the taking, and that ruling appealed to him. He would assume Shinnok's throne, and ponder the conquering of other realms. Alone once more, Ermac searched the labyrinthine corridors of Shao Kahn's old fortress, searching for the source of a faint voice calling to him. Suddenly, a wisp of dust brushed his chest wrenching free one of his many souls. The dust took the form of a man who began to consume soul after soul. As the weakened Ermac stared helplessly, he recognized the mysterious figure, the sorcerer Shang Tsung, returned from death. Kotal Khan returned to Outworld determined to rebuild his forces. But Raiden defeated him in a surprise attack and claimed dominion over Outworld. Desperate, the Emperor called upon the Elder Gods to aid in preserving his sovereignty. They granted his request, invoking the most sacred of contests. Now, once every decade, Kotal Khan must enlist his greatest defenders to face Raiden's challengers in mortal combat. <laughs> <laughs>